Hello, my name is Dan Whitaker. I'm a senior lecturer in architecture sustainable design. Welcome to the Singapore University of Technology and Design, and this is our architectural lighting course you're reviewing tonight. My focus has been in museum design and lighting technology, and we see here examples of student work celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Bauhaus and their interpretation of handcrafted techniques such as crochet knitting, 3D additive printing, and laser cut basswood. Students have explored in the lighting elective different methods of hand-drawn rendering, computer rendering, and construction documents to be able to describe to a craftsperson how to fabricate their fixture if it were to go into production. The name of our project is called the wireframe, and the idea is to incorporate lighting into a furniture so as a way to promote interaction between the user as well as people passing by and viewing the furniture as well. So basically our light fixture is aimed to create different kind of lighting for different kind of purposes, for instance caters towards playing, living and resting. The layers can rotate to form different permutations of light. Several students examined the connection between natural organic wood products and fiber optic lighting weaved into a mesh which created a very brilliant interaction between an organic material and a man-made material. So the students had a good grasp of the history behind the latest in lighting technology. Through the various weeks of lessons that we had in the lighting course, we've learned how lighting affects architecture and how it can be incorporated into spaces and how it can shape spaces as well. Thank you for examining the luminaires SDTD students created this term.